Hello everyone, welcome back to a special edition of the ABS show coming straight to you from New York City. If this is your very first time watching us, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like and share. And right after the show, go on Instagram and follow us at the ABS show. I am super excited hey. because we have a superstar in the mix. Super excited. Super excited. Big Ghana giant. If you're a fan of the ABS show, you know we, 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 we always talk about her. Hey, right? all the time. We say just in about how. <laughs> she was part of our countdown mm. um, this last year. You know, she made several headlines. Fashion mm. list. Yes. Countdown. Everything. everything. Name it. Yes. Scandal. Yes. Relationship. Hey. Relationship. <laughs> She's a superstar, award-winning hey. artist. Come she on. does it all. Everyone, help me welcome Effia. Welcome to the ABS show. Let oh. me sip, honey. Oh, okay. Mm. Charlie, not mm. too much, okay? All right, I Handle got it. <laughs> so, Effia, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Charlie. It's such an um, honor to be here with you guys, finally. Oh, yeah. You know, I've been watching your show, and then... Oh. He's been telling me how much he's wanted me on it. So on this trip, I made it a point to make sure that I come to the show. Oh, Good. That's awesome. Oh my God, we're super awesome. excited that you are here. Thank so tell us, what are you doing in New York? Um, I've been here for a couple of weeks, um, doing some new music, shooting some videos, mm. and doing new. some shows also. Um, last week we had a show at the PlayStation mm. Center, which was exciting. Yes, yes. we were there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> I host it. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my thing. So, um, you know, it's always lovely in New York. I have family and friends, and there's a whole bunch of ginghams here, so it's always nice to hey. come. So I made it a point that once I'm here, I have to come and see you guys. Hey. You mentioned ginghams. That's what she calls her fans. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to move on. Glitz. Yes. Let's talk to Miss Ifia. She's, she's here. I'm going to start easy. <laughs> it's easy on you. So, Ifia, what part of Ghana are you from, and what tribe do you rep? And um, what is your tribe distinct of? Um, I am... I am a mix of uh, the north and the south. Oh. This is because my father, both my fathers, I have two dads. Really? I'm so what? lucky. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so um, both my fathers come from the northern region, one from Tamale, one from Bolkatanga. Oh, mm. so, northern. Nice. Yes. And then my mother comes from um, Ejusu Kwahuma, which is in the south. But as because of lineage, we take our mother's side. So I'm a Shanti, but okay. I'm half northern, yes. So um, um, that that is basically for that part of that situation. Mm -hmm. But you know, we live in Accra, yes. but we try and go home as much as possible, especially in December, to mm -hmm. visit the family. But I am a very very Ashanti girl. Okay, mm -hmm. what are you distinct for? What's the distinction of Ashanti versus Fanti and everything else? Um, what is it? I what mean, will stand out for your tribe? They have me. They have Effia. Oh, that's it. We are finished. <laughs> Party done. That's good. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Can I say though, yeah. Effia, my sister actually introduced your music to me. Okay. She listens. You know, she was the first one to discover it. Um, mm -hmm. Effia, and then she was like, "No, you have to listen to this lady. She's so amazing." And when I got into your music, I was inspired. Mm -hmm. So I wanted yeah. to ask you, who inspired you for you to get into the music industry? Um, I've been singing. I've been singing since I was a child i would say i know everybody says that but it's, it's actually true of my story where i've been singing since i was like maybe six years old in church you know singing Sunday services because my family is very um, Christian. Mm -hmm. My grandfather is a full gospel businessman, mm -hmm. and as it goes, every he had 15 kids, and my mother is mm -hmm. the firstborn. So I was the first grandchild of my family. So wow. it's it's a lot. It's a big family, mm -hmm. and God has always been a very big part of it. So I started singing in church. Mm -hmm. um, so Don't definitely, you, all in church? you too. <laughs> you De yeah. <laughs> definitely, to I was inspired to take it as a profession after. To Stars of the Future, mm. which is a competition that I did in my country. Mm -hmm. okay. So, you know, as the story goes, one thing led to another, and here we are. Oh, hey. nice. mm -hmm. Do you, do you um, remember this picture? Yes. Yes. I'm that was like two years ago. Yes, that was the, two years ago. Yes. We had a photo shoot and we yes. did an interview by the water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, Charlie. Shower. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Small, small star. <laughs> All right, Afia, tell us something. I mean, it's awesome to see that you have been doing your thing mm -hmm. and you're notable for me. Music. Yeah. So, um, aside music, do you have other dreams or something you wish to unleash or you're already working on right now? Um, when I'm not Effia, I'm Jane, and she's a very calm girl. She mm -hmm. works for her mom. Oh, wow. Um, my mom has a, a production company, mm -hmm. so whenever I'm not doing my Amazing. work, 
I work with her. Sometimes I edit for her. Sometimes I direct for her wow. because I'm a theater. Where in Ghana? Um, in Accra. In Accra. In Accra. Premier Productions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Listen, her mother is a legend, by the way. Legend. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I just Premier have to Productions. That basically, I'm. I, I work for them. They they basically own me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow. That's yes. Dope. So apart from that, she has um, all these other charities that she works with. She's a great humanitarian. So I I help her out as much as possible because no matter what, you know, it's all coming down to me one day, mm. and it's a lot of work and a lot of very very huge shoes to fill. So mm -hmm. I'm learning as much as I can so that when she retires, I can take the <laughs> position that I've been given and do the work way better than she did if oh. I can. I don't, I don't know this Amen. about you. But are you yeah. the only child? Yes. Oh. oh. But I have brothers. Uh, I have brothers. I have two brothers and a half sister and two half sisters and a brother too. Mm. Uh, so cool. you know, I said <laughs> I got. I have. House. I have two dads. Yeah. So that means I yeah. have two moms. So I have. Right. I have like two on this side, two on this side, and I'm in the middle. It's oh, beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if yeah, when I first heard you in concert. Oh, is that me? Oh, that's a nice That's thing. you. Looking <laughs> like a snack. Came, we came through. <laughs> snack. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, if yeah, when I first heard you in concert, mm -hmm. I was blown away. Because you know when you go to these concerts, these people have auto tunes. Mm. They have uh, DJ tracks. Speak on it. They have all of this. You're like, is it voice I'm getting or is it robots? Oh. <laughs> and I heard you and like I was, I told you that, that I was like mesmerized. It was like somebody just took my breath away. Mm. So how is it being the most impactful woman mm. to me mm -hmm. in Ghana okay. doing Afro beats in Ghana and to the world? How does it feel for you? Um, I mean... What it is, I believe, is that we have inspired a generation, and that is my purpose, mm. to leave as much behind as I can, because, you know, um, as much as we're doing everything that we are doing now, one day w we will not be here anymore, and I believe that um, everything dies except the music. Mm. Yeah, so we're just trying to leave enough behind so that everything keeps going on, and I'm just grateful to inspire so much people. I love performing live because, um, you hear the music on the radio, you hear it on when you're playing it by yourself. Right. I want the live experience to be different yes. from when it is that you're listening to the music at home. Mm -hmm. And it's personal, it's interactive, it's emotional, it's spiritual, yes. you know, and I believe that that's what I bring to the stage. And every time I get the chance to, to show that, I do it, and I do it to my best. We love it. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you mentioned the Afrobeat. Yes. And you just performed at the PlayStation Theater, mm -hmm. Afrobeat to the World. Mm -hmm. So why is that so important for you mm -hmm. to be oh, part wow. of such a movement like okay. that? I mean, um, the culture is shifting. And it's beautiful because we have been doing so much for so long to be able to let African music become the number one listen music in the world and I think it's happening mm -hmm. and I think at this time is the best time that we need to push mm. much more than yes. ever. Push it. Yes, yes much more than ever. Like, you know, er anything that comes up, we must try and support it as much as we can That's with okay. all our power. You know, David O is being played on the radio mm -hmm. and I feel like it's time we got more artists exactly. to be played on the international radio and if this is how we start it or this is how we continue it or this yeah, is how we it. help it, yeah. we're going to do as much as we can to make that happen because African music is world music. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. All right, all right, all right. Enough of the serious question. <laughs> no, I won't kill my sister. We are doing English Let, and let's get juicy a little bit. <laughs> um, a little bit. Let's on a lighter note. We know you have gone around the world and you have had a lot of interviews. Yeah. And a lot of interrogations. Mm -hmm. so interrogations. What was the most annoying question you have ever been asked? How did um, this start? Uh. You don't like that question um, because they ask you all the time. Everybody right? wants to know, but it, you know it's interesting to me because it makes you realize that you need to keep telling the story. Right. You know, right. you need to keep telling the story so people know what it is that has happened, what it is that has gone down, and what is going to happen. You have to be your testimony. Yes. Sure. Oh. Yes. yes. So it's not annoying anymore. I mean, it's cool. You know what it is, is? I've just devised a way to answer it differently every time. That makes it fun for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. Listen. Talking about fun. Is <laughs> <laughs> that me next? Yes. <laughs> Talking about fun. <laughs> nice one. What is your guilty pleasure? I need you to be honest, though. Oh. Don't say it's PlayStation or playing <laughs> video games or watching TV. What is Afia's guilty pleasure? Ooh. Egg and pepper. Egg and pepper. <laughs> What? You love it that much? Yeah. If you, I'm sorry, if you eat an egg and peppers, that means... <coughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> The atmosphere. Yo, 
<laughs> Listen, like, <laughs> yeah, you can be eating like a pepper. So. <laughs> no, I love it so much. It's on my writer. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Wow. Because I like you it. You just love it? I, I like egg and pepper soup. Inconsistent milk. Oh my god. It's I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> Don't eat it. I feel you. <laughs> no, it's it's a Ghanaian thing. I know egg and Yeah, <laughs> it's mad. Listen, the the music industry. Everybody's trying to come up now. Mm -hmm. I want to know who do you think is um the <laughs> the most overrated artist right now? Ooh. Oh, what do you mm. mean by overrated? Everybody kind of mm. like hailing them, but you look at them and you like. Really? Um, I don't understand. Mm. I don't think there's anything as overrated over okay. an mm -hmm. artist. I just feel like um, some people like some artists more than they like other mm -hmm. artists, mm -hmm. and this is choice. Yes. Mm -hmm. And as noses, everybody has one. Right. You know, Ooh, so I, I like believe that. that. Yes. Mm -hmm. like, we all have one. <laughs> and I believe that everybody should have a choice to like what they like. Mm -hmm. and, yes. Um, and and love it as much as to support it and scream it at the top of their voice awesome. to tell people that they like that. So Absolutely. what artist out there is underrated and that needs like you you, <laughs> you feel, no you feel like so talented but it's not getting that push. Um, everybody that I feel is talented is getting pushed. What I think should be happening is if you think that there's somebody where can they see me? That's my camera. Yes. Ooh, if you see that there's them. somebody that is talented and you want to support them, don't wait for them to. to if you wait it. for them to blow, they've blown. <laughs> they mm. have to. Yeah. If yeah. you don't help them now how are you going to be part of the story so Thank you. if you see somebody and you think they are underrated make them rate it exactly. if you think you have the power to help them to become mm. bigger Absolutely. help them to become bigger i hate those words underrated overrated, overrated. yeah it becomes so complicated. Mm. It's like, what are we doing? Are we making the peasant feel better about themselves? Mm, exactly. Or we're making the peasant feel worse about themselves? Like, it's all about encouragement and keeping each other going, exactly. encouraging each other. What's good vibes? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, I don't, I don't use those words for artists. I believe that everybody's doing the, the best that they can. Mm -hmm. And if we do push and help each other, we can be bigger, you know? Right. Which is very possible. Right. Awesome. Yes. I love yes. that. Talk about it. I love that. Have you, ever had, um, have you ever had any embarrassing moment? Like maybe the mic just go off while you're on stage? No. Like that? I've had very, never. very, no. You've I've not had very, you're, you're I've lucky. never fallen on stage. I've never had a wardrobe malfunction. I was super nervous when you came out on stage um, during <laughs> the girls' talk in With that the, bubble. No. Oh, the bubble? The bubble. I oh, was like, I was watching was and I'm easy. like, yeah. shaking. are you sure about this? Yeah. Let <laughs> me tell you a secret. We, yeah. You go into the bubble before they blow it up. Mm. Mm. So you're in there and you gotta like, you know, hold your breath for a little for bit. A little bit. Yeah. And then it's, it's all fun. And then wow. you come in the bubble and then you're in a bubble and you're singing in a bubble. Yeah. Exciting time. If you've not seen that, awesome. go on YouTube and check that out. Absolutely. That was visually just amazing. Yeah, that was girl talk. That was lovely. Ooh, okay, mm -hmm. good. Up to me. So, like I said earlier, there's mm -hmm. a lot of you have, a, you have a YouTube, right? Yes, please. Yes, so you can check that out. Mm -hmm. And Vimo, too, right? And Vimo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like I was saying earlier, when you go to a lot of these concerts, you see a lot more tracks. Mm -hmm. Because they would see people are singing off track. But when I went to your that concert, really you. it bothers me because <laughs> if you're paying, if you put your money down for a concert, you didn't want to hear the artist's voice. What yeah. I think is, as of recently, um, some of the big African stars are putting in much more effort yes. to rehearse and um, practice. You know, mm -hmm. um, somebody like Burner Boy, I've seen on his tour. He's using the band mixed with the DJ, mm -hmm. and most of the time, that's that's what's supposed to be done. Yeah. If you can give them both or both worlds, it's it's much more electric. So yeah. shout outs to the people that are trying, mm -hmm. and because of that, I hope with that mm -hmm. it encourages more artists to try it out. Yeah. Because you know, it just gives the whole show a different flair. Exactly. Everybody knows it. I'm sure it mm -hmm. makes it clearer. That on makes that my point. that's my question the same. Why do you prefer acoustic versus DJ? Um, because you know, it's just a vibe. Yeah. It's about it's what kind of vibe we're bringing to what kind of show it is. Mm -hmm. I have played with a DJ before, yeah. but it was probably in a different situation at a different place. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, I would prefer the live band yeah. because I can have fun with it, mm -hmm. and then you can be interactive with the um, with the, the audience crowd, without yeah. pausing the music. You know, because the DJ, the music is flowing. Mm -hmm. If you have to pause, you can't pause. You gotta lower it. Or like it's it gets and weird. So, but when you're using the life band, it's much more easier, isn't it? Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. So what is that one thing you would love to change in the music? Because we know a lot of things mm -hmm. go go on in the music industry in front of the stage, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. What is that one thing in the music industry that you would love to change that is not working for you right now? Working for me? Mm -hmm. Um. 
The thing <laughs> is, I'm more of a honey sea girl. Oh, you want a stronger? Ah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay, but ah. no, but that's fine. <laughs> but let's see. Um, if I would like to change, I mean, more support would be great, mm. especially in Ghana. Mm. I think if the government got involved, and, you oh, know, okay. got some more settlements with people to involve the artist and some, you know, but also more support from each other. Absolutely. Yeah, that would mm -hmm. be nice. Right. True. I support. mean, I think in Ghana, you know, we're small. Mm -hmm. Ghana is very small. Mm -hmm. So we know each other. We're friends. Like some, of cool. mm -hmm. some of us are cool. Some of us are cool. Some of us are not. Okay. It's cool. <laughs> but like, you know, in the bigger circle, mm -hmm. I'm talking about all African artists in Africa okay. to, be Africa so mm -hmm. to be associated in a way where it's easy to reach other, to do collaborations mm. yes. and spread it. And because that's how you spread your wings. Yes. Right. And I think Absolutely. that would be good for us. Speaking of collaborations, um, the people who like to know, are you signed to Whiskey or you're independent? Whiskey? Oh. Mm. Um, there was a time he said it in label. an award. Oh. I'm signed to lab a label in London. It's called Jetland. Okay. Yeah, so okay. that's what I'm saying too. Okay, so but I'm affiliated that's, that's to awesome. Starboy because um, Wiz and I are family, you okay. know. It's been a long time coming. We have a lot of music together. together right. We've done a lot together. And, you know, between them, R2Bs, mm -hmm. it's a Ooh. family. So, a you family. know, we'll always be Starboy. So I wanted to ask, like, do you like this in this day and age? So many artists are striving to own their masters, mm. though we know it's a long road. Mm -hmm. But do you have plans of that? I mean, I. I think I own my masters, bro. You do? <laughs> yeah. True. He's no, next to my. No, it's not today. Are you serious? Yeah, because all the deals that I have, with whatever it is, even if it's publishing, they're still, you know. You're right. I do. I'm there in the largest percentage. Mm -hmm. What it is, is I will not say fully, but I own a bigger percentage, percentage of it than whoever yeah. the other person is. Mm -hmm. So it's not I really. Love that. Yeah, that's inspiring. That's oh, it, no, I, listen up. No be today. <laughs> no be don't take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Mm. In the Afrobeats industry, yes. I felt I feel like a lot more men get a lot more shine, mm. right? Mm. How do you think that is for a woman that's doing Afrobeats, mm -hmm. right? Um, is it, a, it seems like an acceptable norm in the industry that maybe mm -hmm. there are three women that are the main women and then there's 500 boys. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like that. So you have mm -hmm. 500 boys to choose from and only three or four women that are to choose from. How do you feel about that? Um, do you know the funny thing? There could be more women in the Africa, like, there, there yeah. could be more women, but some of them are not known. Some of them are not from your country. Mm. You know, there's a lot of female artists. Some of them are not big yet. Yes. But um, what I think the margin is, is yes, there are... Um, there's a more male-dominated industry, yes. So what happens is if you see that, why don't you infiltrate the males? Listen, I have songs with most of the artists, male artists in my country. You understand? If you do a song with a guy, you get his fans to listen to you. Mm. It's a good song. It's a hit. What the fans do? They'll come and start following you. Yeah. They'll buy your music too, because mm -hmm. they realize your potential. Mm -hmm. Now it's about every kind of business. If you go to a new place, you don't know anybody there, you gotta find the people that run the business mm -hmm. and infiltrate the system and find a way to put yourself in there. Um, I feel like if you work hard too, you achieve these things mm -hmm. and you, have, you need to have a good team that has a plan that, you know, if will not work, has a backup plan. Yes. Right. Yeah. Like but you know, AMA. it's business, and as it goes, the hits are very important. Mm -hmm. More hits means more streams. Mm -hmm. right. More streams means higher numbers. Mm -hmm. Higher Boom. numbers means paying jobs. Mm -hmm. Paying Boom. jobs means money in your pocket. Boom. Money in your pocket means, you know, yeah. whip alert. Yeah. 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 I, I let you talking. Listen no, to But yeah. then it's, you know, it's business. And right. then you, it's business. If Show you put more money, money in it, yeah. you gain more money. You got to get use money to make money. Mm. It's, it's one of those things. So you need a structure. You need business people who are involved in your team yes. who will show you how you can use your talent mm -hmm. the way it is mm -hmm. to make money and then build yourself as an artist mm -hmm. and also infiltrate the market the best way possible yes. for your kind of music. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, don't mm -hmm. go trying to be like somebody else. The person is already there. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't need another one of that person. We need you to be the person that you need to be so that you can be strong enough on your own. Originality. Yes. yes. Why do I feel so good about this? It's I feel cool. like she's giving me it. advice. You're you know, she's advice just looking at me. Oh. As an up-and-coming artist, I feel very special right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, but honestly, yeah, but I'm sure awesome. you know these things, but, do, then but it's, it's better when it's more. told to you. And I, and yeah, you that. don't try to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. You will find the seven billion people in the world. True. Mm -hmm. Come on, you will find people who appreciate your craft. You right. just need to sell it right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And sell it to the right people. Also. Jeez. I feel so <laughs> blessed right epiphany. now. Right. <laughs> awesome. So I was going to ask you um, um, one more question, but I feel like you've answered it already. Oh. I wanted to ask you what's your go-to meal, but since you said no, egg she, she, can, she oh. can eat. You, 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 you Charlie you talks pepper. about how I eat like he's with me at home. <laughs> <laughs> because every time, because it, like a while ago you went viral mm -hmm. when you said, you know, you love I've some kind of food, the, you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you mentioned like all kinds of food so, and you still stay snatched. Um, ah, we need the secret. Yes. <laughs> the truth is, yes, I, I can't eat. Mm. Now, the thing is, I like eating because I like food. Mm. <laughs> I like food because, you know, I was brought up in a very big house. Mm -hmm. And there's always food. My mom is always cooking. My mm. auntie is always cooking. My grandma is always cooking. I hope it's and not it's Nigerian like, to love food. Ah, wait a minute. That's the question. Okay, ask the question. No, but that's part of the question. Like, what's your go-to meal? I mean, why would I be asking a Nigerian? But if you say go-to, that means obvious. like emergency or like what? Like if I was asked what's my favorite food, if you want what death would I say? And they ask you, who, what's say... your last meal? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's, what's oh you my chop? god! Oh. <laughs> Not that you're gonna be on that, but I'm just saying <laughs> your last Charlie meal before leaving this earth. I would have definitely fufu with chicken light soup. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. Light I feel soup. like every day changes though with you. <laughs> no, but it's always fufu though. It's always fufu, but just different. Chicken light soup mm -hmm. or contemporary soup. Contemporary <laughs> <laughs> like is the same as a bunny mm. bunny. I like this name, contemporary yeah. bunny yeah. bunny. <laughs> We love that you are here because we do talk about you all the time. Oh, and a while ago, you actually made headlines um, when you, you spoke about marriage. Oh, we have a clip. Let's show the clip. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come back to the question. Yeah. I do. So that's what, she, that's what I'm asking. That was, is that no, the end goal? She just came out of a really bad relationship. Oh, so and she said she's just taking her time. And she it, and it's kind of like, okay. I guess, the must have like prodded her about you know sex and everything. And she's like, she can do her own thing. She can I take care of talking. herself. That's she could make herself bust 20 times before one man. That's Go the do, Give you one there. small bust and yeah. then that's it. Listen, that's okay. an issue I have with this slay queen. Okay? <laughs> this slay queen is from the ages of 18 to 20, 29. Mm -hmm. You know, when you want to ask them out, uh -huh, they look at you up and down and they deny you. Ooh. The age is from 35 to... <laughs> Charlie, whatever. Why are you pointing this way? He is just analyzing. I'm trying to I'm trying to leave in the loop. Charlie, Charlie oh, continue. And when they reach a certain age, now they don't need a man <laughs> because you can't find one. Oh. That's what it is at the end of the day. Whoa. I like if you have met her, I've interviewed her. She's a great lady. She's, you know, she's all of that great stuff. Yes. But everybody needs everybody. <laughs> oh. So, scandal. So, my, Come my, what you're saying. Let me, let me. Don't I'm going to have the same energy. Don't change that. Don't change that. Same I'm going to have the same energy. Let's it's not because energy. you are here. Don't I think my point, my point was... <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> think he was talking about me. He, he, was, he was making a point. Thank you. Right, thank you. Right. I'm saying everybody needs everybody. Yeah. Right now, where are you? you where, where, where everybody everybody needs everybody. This is the situation. Yes. Ever since I was 25, mm -hmm. I've been asked this question about <laughs> marriage. And ever since that time, I've been telling them that I, it's not something that is really like you know an an asterisk on my list. Mm -hmm. It's something that I want to happen naturally when I do find the person I want to meet with. I've been in some very amazing relationships, mm. but they didn't end up in marriage because that's not what I wanted. You know, honestly, for me, marriage is very very. Like I think that marriage right now, mm -hmm. in our generation, mm -hmm. overrated. <laughs> No. It's overrated. It's overrated. Hey. <laughs> like it's the end goal of life. Really? No, you but you know why? I think that is our culture. Mm -hmm. We were yes. brought up yes. in a certain way mm -hmm. where you believe if you do finish school, do the work, get married, have the kids, yeah. take care of your husband. Mm -hmm. As a woman, there was a certain structure that was built around being a woman. Mm -hmm. But things have changed and you know, women have become super beings. Mm -hmm. You know, especially yes, in this that. 2019. So I believe that whenever it is I choose to get married, I will and might if I do want to, and I will marry whoever I do want to marry. Mm -hmm. But I, I, ex I understand that people are interested in it because of who I am. Mm -hmm. But I want to explain it to everybody that 
it's really none of your business. Yeah. Oh. I'm a boss. All the Emma bills is clink, 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 clink. Word. Okay. She said it's none of your business. None of your business. Okay. Charlie, none of your business. Word. <laughs> <laughs> that was dope. Because <laughs> a lot of people think it's their business <laughs> because they're entitled to our lifestyle yeah. because yeah. we're celebrity. But it's really none of your business because yeah. I don't come to ask you when I get married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I get married. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you I something funny. Sure. You guys you guys can't speak tree. Mm -hmm. But if I speak if I, I say I wanna say mm -hmm. something. In Tiano Obi Fremi, MTN, like um wrong number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the person was like <laughs> Uh, I want to speak to Akos's mother. I want to speak to Akos's mother. Mm. And then I was like, ah, this is not Akos's mother. Mm. It was like, oh, uh, uh, don't you have kids? I was like, no, I, I've not, I don't have kids. Mm. The person, random, missed call, like, mm. missed call. The person was like, mm, you're old, do I marry? <laughs> what? Hey! Wow. And then he cut the, the nerve. No, God yeah. forbid. It was funny because it was so random and I didn't know the person from anywhere, but just mm. because I said I don't have kids, the person was like, I should do a marry. So that means that even a random person well, has, has the same mindset mentality. of the yeah, fact right. that, yeah. you know, whatever woman you are, you know. So yeah, it's yeah. something that's in people's head, but honestly, it's nobody's business. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. before we go, can you tell us real quick what you're working on and what's mm -hmm. next for Ithia? Um... I have a surprise to give my fans on my birthday. Ooh. Oh, when's your birthday? When's your birthday? Um, my birthday was yesterday. Hey, you didn't hey. tell us your celebration. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy deleted birthday! Happy birthday! You want more wine for your birthday? Yeah. Calm down. Okay, I, I have to ask <laughs> you sing. sing. Let, okay, I can sing. Thank mm. you so much. It's karaoke. Mean, <laughs> it's always wonderful. Um, it's, wow. it's been a while since I had my birthday in New York, though. But it was nice. You know, we did some family and friends stuff you know just chill line but, up the strippers yeah but you know al That's almost every I'm time i always have a big party i've had costume parties i've had a lot of we didn't get invited I've, I've had a lot of <laughs> amazing birthday parties, yeah. I would say. Um, but I'm sure when I go back to Ghana, I'll have a party, party again. for everybody. So what's next for you? What else are you working on? Um, also, I, I, was, I think I put out a song yesterday. Mm -hmm. I think you should go check it out. Oh, there's okay. new music. Right. New, yes. new music. Yes. Right. There's so new music your, um, YouTube, for the birthday. Um, is it um, I mean, if you type in the E-F-Y-A and the yeah. Vivo, it's going to come up come everywhere. Up. Okay. It's internationally known. Oh Worldwide. Everybody give it, give it up for FBI. Yes, happy birthday, It was Siva. such a delight to have you on the show. Thank you We so love much. you. Come back anytime. Anytime. Thank anytime. You, thank anytime. Thank you, thank Listen, you. make sure to stream all her music mm -hmm. on all music mm -hmm. platforms. Support black business. Yes, she is amazing. <laughs> FBI. Thank you once again for coming Thank on you, the show. Charlie. Thank Charlie. Shout out to Charlie, though. Yeah. You know? Can I give a shout out to your stylist, Kevin? Yes. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> <All right. laughs> All yeah, right. Hey, we love you for right. watching. Until next time, you're watching ABS Show, and this is Mina TV. Bye. Hey. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.